to Mocha Mama Cafe. I am Mocha Mama, and you are the cafe. Thank you for tuning in to our Mocha Mama Cafe broadcast, where we are sharing our Purpose in Proverbs series. We are reading one chapter of Proverbs, a broadcast, and learning that a proverb a day helps keep confusion at bay. So we want to give you a little sip of inspiration to get you through your day and remind you that hope is the great caffeine of life. Today we will be reading Proverbs chapter 25. We are on our 31 days of inspiration and wisdom. Inspiration, motivation, revelation, preparation, and wisdom. So sit back and relax and grab your coffee, your tea, as we read Proverbs chapter 25 in the New Living Translation. Proverbs chapter 25, more Proverbs of Solomon. These are more Proverbs of Solomon collected by the advisors of King Hezekiah of Judah. It is God's privilege to conceal things and the king's privilege to discover them. No one can comprehend the height of heaven, the depth of the earth, or all that goes on in the king's mind. Remove the impurities from silver, and the sterling will be ready for the silversmith. Remove the wicked from the king's court, and his reign will be made secure by justice. Don't demand an audience with the king or push for a place among the great. It's better to wait for an invitation to the head table than to be sent away in public disgrace. Just because you've seen something, don't be in a hurry to go to court. For what will you do in the end if your neighbor deals you a shameful defeat? When arguing with your neighbor, don't betray another person's secret. Others may accuse you of gossip and you will never regain your good reputation. Timely advice is lovely, like golden apples in a silver basket. To one who listens, valid criticism is like a gold earring or other gold jewelry. Verse 13. Trustworthy messengers refresh like snow in summer. They revive the spirit of their employer. A person who promises a gift but doesn't give it is like clouds and wind that bring no rain. Patience can persuade a prince and soft speech can break bones. Do you like honey? Don't eat too much or it will make you sick. Don't visit your neighbors too often or you will wear out your welcome. Telling lies about others is as harmful as hitting them with an axe, wounding them with a sword, or shooting them with a sharp arrow. Putting confidence in an unreliable person in times of trouble is like chewing with a broken tooth or walking on a lame foot. Singing cheerful songs to a person with a heavy heart is like taking someone's coat in cold weather, or pouring vinegar in a wound. If your enemies are hungry, give them food to eat. If they are thirsty, give them water to drink. Verse 22. You will heap burning coals of shame on their heads, and the Lord will reward you. 
As surely as a north wind brings rain, so a gossiping tongue causes anger. It's better to live alone in the quarter of an addict than with a quarrelsome wife in a lovely home. Good news from far away is like cold water to the thirsty. If the godly give in to the wicked, it's like polluting a fountain or muddying a spring. It's not good to eat too much honey, and it's not good to seek honors for yourself. A person without self-control is like a city with broken down walls. And that was Proverbs chapter 25 from the New Living Translation. Thank you for tuning in to our Mocha Mama Cafe broadcast today. And you can reach us online at mochamamacafe.com. Mama is spelled M-O-M-M-A. And you can also reach us on Instagram and Twitter at Mocha Mama Cafe. Feel free to stop by our Cappuccino Corner or our barista blog as well on our website. We pray this has been a blessing to you today and that all will go well with you. You have an awesome day and God bless.